Hello and welcome back. We just about to start this man under 21 game Czechia against Singapore. On the left hand side with the black boats and the blue PFDs we see the Czech players and on the right hand side in white with the under 21 team from Singapore. And for those of you who just have come back to the live stream here on page one on the third day of this, this year's World Championship, they just saw the first goal from Czechia, scored by their number seven. by Jakubik, by Wojtek Jakubik and so he takes the first lead in this game, the 1-0 lead over Singapore. And now it's the Singaporean time to attack to try to shoot their first goal and we see the Czech defense they play a uh, vice versa 3-1, so they play with three players on the six meter lines and one right in front of the goal. That's kind of an interesting tactic, so you can play that when you think that you can block them all. And if you do it successfully, you can keep all the players uh, away from the goal. And so far it works pretty well, because there is only 10 seconds left on the shot clock. That means they are forced to take a shot in just about 7 seconds. Or looking for the foul, what they did at this stage <coughs> of the game. And so they get another 60 seconds to attack. And here a really nice runner coming in, but the Czech defense was just a bit too good. So they blocked him and Singapore dropped the ball. So ball position for the Czech. And they can go and paddle up the field to set up their second attack. And try to score their second goal here. And we saw here a really nice passing around the back from the Czech player. And he just used the goalkeeper's paddle to bring that ball into the middle. And so number 10, Noon Kotnik just scored that goal. And now this brings the lead for Jack, for the Czech team, 2-0, but there was an obstruction, so one of the Singaporean players <coughs> blocked the Czech player outside the 6 meter line, and the ball just bounced on the boat from a Czech player, this long pass, and went stra straight out of the field. So, ball position for Singapore. And we see the Czech players all standing on the six meter line. 
And the Singaporean, they tried to sort out their attack, but now it's coming. And here, they block the play with number three, Lim, to come through with the ball. And though there was an unlucky ball on the boat, and the Czech player tries to pick up that ball, but in the end, it was Hurry, Hurry Aran who picked that ball up. So still pole position for Singapore. And 30 seconds left on the shot clock. The Singaporean just waiting. Playing the time down. Now playing a uh, really nice hand-to-hand -hand pass. And we have the first shot here from Singapore on the goal. It was just a bit too low. And what a bad passing here. And really well done from Yuran Tan. Just picked up that ball. And there was a foul. And Singapore is playing on here. And Singapore is summing off, bringing new players on. So the captain's back on the field. Yeo here at the ball. Still four minutes to go in this first half. And see. Singapore stick to their plan. Another shot, another deflection, another corner. But it was really close. The ball nearly deflected into the goal. But it looked like the goalkeeper, Islet, was ready. It's a corner for Singapore. There, number seven, John taking the corner go by himself went through oh what a nice dribble but he just wanted a bit too much and nice work for Nyo Janosek and here he had the ball on the spray deck and paddled and ball possession for Singapore John plays the ball out to Ton. And back to Yeo. And the Singaporean player, they take the time to set up their offense, which gives, on the other hand, the Czech team uh, time to set up. And uh, a nice interception here with the paddle by the Czech player. And a nice push here. But a really nice play here by Singaporean player. And here we have another shot. We have a rebound. And we have Ton who managed to pick up that ball. But it just crossed the sideline. So it went out of play. Ball possession for the team from Czechia. Two minutes to go in this first half. Still a 2 0 lead for the Czech team. And here with this next attack, the chance to score their third goal. Czech team try to put two players inside, bring the ball inside. Here, really nice hand to hand passing. An open ball, a lot of paddles and hands involved here. But everything according to the rules. So no foul here. Oh, a really nice pass inside the center. But even the, as, the pass, as nice as the pass was, the paddle block was even nicer. Once again, the ball goes back into the center. Back to number five, another shot, another goal. So Janusek just scored the third goal for his colors. 
Really nice goal here by Andrei Janusek. <coughs> and we see here the Czech team stick to their plan attack <coughs> attacking the the Singaporean player pretty early so they have to shoot from far outside and it just went by hitting the upper bar out of the field so ball possession for the Czech And another attack for the Czech team, another shot. But there was a goalkeeper foul committed by their number seven, by Joj Wojtek Jakubik. And ball possession for Singapore. But there was just two less time to take another shot on the Czech goal. So we find ourselves at halfway through this game. After 10 minutes, we have a quite comfortable lead from the Czech team, three, Singapore, zero. So we'll be back in about two minutes for the second half and let's see if the Czech team will play on with this one, three tactics in the defense or if they adjust anything and let's see what solutions the Singaporean finds to go through this check-in wall. So the teams are getting ready for the second half, so we are. And the referee Sandberg just opened with her whistle the second half. And there was a fault at the start of the Czech team. So an easy win, a ball position for Singapore. So as I mentioned before, it looks like the Czech team stick to their plan. 
Defending with three players up front against Singapore. Oh, what a, there was a sloppy pass, but a nice recovery here by the Singaporean captain by Yi Lo. And yeah, both of these teams put a lot of effort in this World Championship campaign. Singapore trained twice a week together as a national team, as an under-21 national team. And now the shot clock is running out of time. That shot was just a bit too late. And the Czech used this to their advantage. Play a fast break, play the ball back, and they have a one-on-one -on, -one on the goalkeeper. So Jakubic just scored another goal. Uh, against the Singaporean goalkeeper. So the Czech team take a lead for four goals. And as I said, the under 21 team of Singapore we see here, they just trained four times a week together. And the referee called the Czech player with the number four, Bartos, Wojtek Bartos. Uh, back because after this foul he has to take the free shot stationary and here we see he's driving in but get pushed out by Singaporean number three and uh, win uh, the ball position by Singapore but a really nice work here by Katnik who just pushed the Singaporean player out of play. And here we have a timeout from the referee. And there's something happened. So the. <coughs> oh, it looks like there was a problem with the shot clock. Oh, well seen from the referees. So there's a timeout. First referee Sundberg from Denmark is going to the table. Yeah, there was 10 seconds missing on the shot clock. So another 10 seconds for the Czech team to attack. And they bring the ball in. And wow, really well defended here. Unluckily, the team or the defenders from Singapore, they just pushed Leo out of the goal because they weren't paddling enough. But they managed to support him and block this shot. And Steph. Stepan Wotnik just giving uh, the Singaporean defenders a hard time in there. And yeah, on the other hand, the Czech team, they trained as well many times together. And now, uh, oh, here was a foul. Just this. Stepan Wojtnik. Nick, I mentioned before, who did a great job inside the defense, just pu pushed with his arm the defender away. So a nice call here from the referee. Yeah, and from the Czech team, I want to point out their coaching. He told us that it's his third wave of young players, of under 21 players he do now. So he puts a lot of time, a lot of effort into this Czech team and <coughs> yeah he's been coaching the under 21s between 11 and 12 year now and the Singaporean they had to swap because one of their bumpers fell off so his boat is not safe enough to play on
And I'm quite sure they'll fix it for the next game. So we see number eight from Singapore for our call again. Unluckily for him. But in these hard <coughs> battles, yeah, it's intense for the material as well. And unluckily for him now, his material was not on top. And here we see now a boat foul committed by number seven by Wojtek Kabujik. Jakubik. So ball possession for Singapore. Yeah, and really nice how Singapore and team managed now to bring the ball inside. But on the other hand, we saw a really nice teamwork here from the Czech team. Avoiding that the player from Singapore, the players can take a shot on the goal. And here really nice passing and a really nice shot. Oh, that was a real, real hammer. We should see more of them before. And just hit the lower bar. Luckily for the Czech in team. And here we saw a ball, a shot over the goal. So ball possession for Czechia. Four minutes before the end of the game. The Czech team has a comfortable lead. Four goals over Singapore. <laughs> and we see the Singaporean at, <coughs> at we see the Singaporean defending with a two and two. And the Czech team tried to put two center inside. Oh, that was really nice. Really well done from number four. And a nice passing inside. The center and then this resulted in the next goal. The 5-0 for Czech. And the next attack for Singapore. Will they manage to score their first goal? To replace that, replace that zero with a one on the scoreboard. At the moment it looks like the Czech team has everything under control. And here's another win for the Czech team. Another fast break. Another shot, it went just under the goal, was just a bit too low, that long shot from Wojtek Bartosz. So ball position again for Singapore. The Czech team still tried to tackle the Singaporean player quite early. Oh, that was not precise enough, that passing. But thanks to the captain that he could... <coughs> Win that ball back 
And still ball possession for Singapore. 25 seconds left on the shot clock. But now an easy passing inside a Czechian paddle. So fast break for Czechia. But well done from Singapore here. He committed a foul. But it was an interception, so he gave his team enough time to set up the defense. And a nice shot here from the Czech player with the number two from the captain, from Gabriel Czernik. He managed to put the ball the sixth time in the net of the Singaporean team. So there's a 6 0 lead for the Czech team. One minute to go. So this might be the last attack for Singapore. And soon we can answer the question if the Singaporean managed to put to replace that zero with a one on the scoreboard. Oh, the Czech team is pushing out now. So the goal is empty. But it's... Uh, here the referee with the timeout, just 16 seconds before the end of the game. Because he indicated a foul from Singapore, but now it's turned to a foul from the Czech. But due to bad passing, here we have another goal for a singer, for the Czech team. Seven seconds before the end, seven seconds and the seventh goal. So seven seconds to go, and here we have a long shot. Whoa, that was close. And the game is over now. Thanks for watching, and thanks to all these boys out there.